Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Dunga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All you are new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and they're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, we'll be doing just something really simple. I take it you have um, watched my previous video, the Jamaican hot chocolate, chocolate tea, and I'm following right up with you here how to prepare some red herring. Red herring, chocolate tea, what else goes with that? Tell me in the comment section. We're going to be preparing some red herring. Mind you, red herring is something that can be eaten as it is. The process that it has been through, we can just peel off the skin and all of that and just have it. It's salty. So right here, I have some red herrings. I have some red herring. I went into the supermarket yesterday. And as me a pass, I say, yo, the red herring then shot. The red and then they both that smells so good. What do you know about that? Tell me what you know about that. They smelled so good. So they are here. But remember, red herring is something like this, you see, family. Let me tell you how it's here. It looks like a lot right here, but when you finish the cleaning up preparing process, it comes down to nothing. Like you know, so if you have a big family, you have to buy one of the red herring. So, I'm going to get my heat on. What I'm going to do is going to, if you want to do it like me, this is the way I know it's best done. May have some water over there. Put a big container in your, in your kitchen with water. And also you turn on your range with something and all of that. You're going to use our flame. There's a skin on it. Come on right over here, Dad, with the camera. So, I'm, I want to take this. I want to remove the skin. So, I'm going to be putting it right there. I'm just going to show you, I'll be doing one piece, and then me I'm going to do, go do the rest. I'm going to leave it there. Get your flame down to, to almost to low. You don't want to get it too high. Okay? And you put it on your flame like this, and all like that. We want to burn it, because we, we want to trap some heat under the skin to get it all. Let me show you. Right here, we want to get the heat underneath it. So when the heat comes underneath it, it just lifts the skin. We want to get it some more. Let me show you. You're going to let it stay right there. I'm going to let it burn. You give it, put it through this little law. So when you burn it, the whole, the red herring smell, it's going to take the place. But you leave some water to absorb a huge container of water. That's how I do it, to absorb the red herring. You know, in the kitchen. Look at me here now. Yeah. So, we are burning off the skin from the red area. Let me see if I'm there. And then I will remove to go do the rest. Yep. I am there. When you burn it like that, this is it. Yep. I won't put my hand there because I know it's hot now. You want to be removing. This is the skin that covers. We're not eat this. Okay? So, it's supposed to look like this. This is the skin. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the head too. Can we not eat the head? Let me adjust sweet. We are we are we are PF what we not eat. So you remove these, we don't eat these, and we don't eat these skins. So I'm gonna go now, remove the head, get all of the skin burn off, and I'll come back to show you how you debone it and what you're doing it before you start. Fix up the red herring. Must soon come. Okay, now family, real thing. So I am back, and this is most of what I have. As I told you before. Most of it go into the pickings. These are the center bones and tails. But what I want to show you, these things come in there. I think they call this the roll. I think some people eat this. I think it can be eaten. It have the little, when you break it up, it, it's like a little compactness. And it does have this little seedy seedy. I really don't like the taste of it. This no, I think the, this part, like, I'm not sure if it's the correct name, the melt. I think this is a part of the guts, so I wouldn't eat it. But I see some people fix it and put it. Some people also like this part, the roll. So if you are somebody that likes it, you can do you. I don't do them. 
okay i don't like the taste of the little stuff so if you do it do it pick it up how you want it there is no i me did i eat one little piece you know there is no quick and easy to this thing i know a lot of people might get it to eat and they have never seen it being prepared no quick easy not not to this you've got to take a little time so i have one piece here the skins have been removed and this is the part in there the row I mean, I like it. Some people like it. I don't like it. So I'm showing you. I have a video up in our family. You know? So you, you know, you pull it out and it's well cured. You know, it has been through that dry process. Even one more than the saltfish them. So there is a center bone. So you proceed to pull out those. And as you pull out the center bone, sometimes there are some fine ones. As you go along, you try to remove most of them. So that's why I said to you, family, the skin is all off already. Try your best. There's no easy, fast and easy way to prepare in red herring. All right? So you try to get out most of the bone and all of that. So this is down to the tail. So it's also a center bone. It goes right down. So you want to pick off almost where you can get off because this is the only little meat. But when you look at it, you would want to say, why me if you take my money and buy that so much pickings in it? But it's something that is nice. It's nice. You know? And, but I don't really do it often. I give myself time. I give myself time to buy it. So, I think since this year begin is the first time I've bought it. Since 2019. So, I don't do it often. When I do it, I smell it yesterday and I say, wow. I do for it there now. So, this is where you have it. This is all to the garbage. And this is what I got. Now this thing is really salty. So what I do, I use, so I never boil it. Me not boil it. Because me think if you boil it, you're not going to enjoy it. I use hot water, pour on it. Three different sets of hot water. First one, and you leave it for five minutes. Throw it off. The second one, the same. The third, the same. So when you see me back again, I got hot water. That is the process me use to remove most of the salt. Okay? Because you can put this thing in a water before you remove the skin. It's different from salt mackerel. It's different from salt fish. It's also different from shad. What you know about shad? Tell me something. All of those pickled things. Caribbean people, we eat them now. If I'm going to go do this now and return and we'll come back, we're going to do a little fix up, pick up, and pick up, pick up. And you're going to see what me are going to show enough to eat it with. Must soon come. All right. Okay, now, family, I'm back. I've done, I told you three times. You said to clean and pretty. And you still have a little fine bones, as you will see. You'll have just to, you know, eat around them. So, right on over here, I have some oil. And I'm going to put it right into my oil. And you must always... Remember to drain things that you're going to put in at, put in, in at fire. And look here, as I said to you, you see the amount that I finally got um, out of what I had. Also, if you have a big family, because this can serve about three people when you put a little condiment. So let us get it. We want to get it like a little crispy sort of fryer. Now, right on over here, my mother wouldn't do it with tomato. But... I've never done it with tomato, but I want to put tomato with it to show you that you can if you want. Because some people might want to put tomato with it. So, I think, I don't, I mean, that day, you know, I will have a lunch. So, I don't think that will mind it. I really, honestly, I'm going to fancy it. I just, my mom used to do like just onions and scotch bonnet. This is a must. Okay? And a little vinegar and a little black pepper. But I'm doing this, but you got to know when to do the tomatoes. Because when you get it all crispy, the tomatoes will soften it back again. And when it too soften, it not taste nice. So I've removed the seeds from the tomato. I have put here a little piece of um, yellow bell pepper when I have. Because at Christmas, I should have some green skeleton. But I have a skeleton. A little green skeleton right here would do the trick. But I have them for flavoring and for color. So because at Christmas, because I have one there on the channel that I've done already and I did not use tomato um wow this is let me get my flame down so you see get a little crispy and also you're gonna need a whole 
blue seam cocos bag of onion. So look here. Make we just put in with tomato them and see how it we deal with it. Put in our tomatoes and all of that. We're going to get a little time with the tomato them in there and come back to you. Hmm? That's it. And let us put in our onions and our little bell pepper. Catch you at Christmas. We just put a little bell pepper. We are getting a little pretty color. And you know everything on the 12 days of Jamas. It's all about the Christmas tree look. So why not continue with the red earring? Okay? And this is it. Yup. Not looking bad at all. We want a crocus bag. Whole blue seam crocus bag are the onions. And we also want a few pieces of this in there. Could be more too, but because my husband can't take the eat, but you will see as you go along. You don't want the onions getting too soft. They must be crunchy. At this point, you want to add some black pepper. Add to your liking. Okay? You're not going to stay along with this thing because remember, you know, the red herring is already cooked. Hmm? All right. Let us move right here to the side because at this point, we are going to be putting about a tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. I wouldn't suggest probably apple cider. When you do that, get your flame up to the max because look at what you're going to do. You're going to swirl it around in the little oil up to the max and you just get it over these and then you're gonna turn your flame off this that's just it and it's ready you don't want your onions getting too soggy and all of that and you don't cover it it's ready to be served so this is the christmas red herring look at me here i know some people are gonna say miss debbie when we were burning it on the burner all you gotta do is cover your burner with some foil paper i did not do that I mean, all the time, I know if out my thing. So for the people who don't want the extra work, some people just don't have the time. Just cover your burner with your foil. When it's through, you just lift it and you just pull it out. Look at me here. This is so beautiful. And look here. If you know nothing about cooking, you know, you, could, you would stay from where you are when you watch this video and tell me what the vinegar has done to this thing. May I go plate up some food and may I go come back and I'm going to show you just the ideal thing. When I drop the chocolate TV there, there I say ready in on my head and something for your Christmas morning breakfast. When I return, you'll see what I have just for you. Me soon come. We are back and this is what we have for you. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, most of all to your stomach and to your Christmas morning breakfast table. It is red erin. We did it for you, the Christmas version. And we are serving it to you with some fried dumplings. Please do enjoy. Now, you could do this with green fried plantain crushed. You could have eaten this with adobo bread. You could have eaten it with crackers. You could have eaten it with boiled food. You name it. Please do enjoy once more. Now, I hello. If you have not yet seen the Jamaican chocolate tea video, you need to go watch it. We are going to leave the link for you. It was the last video we uploaded. But we just are going to leave the link so you can click on it. Eh? Because let me tell you something. If your husband asks in for this for breakfast and you never know to do it, now you got it. Remember to make sure that you like these videos. Make sure that you are subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. If you hit it and you hit it and you hit it and you not get nothing, remember to run, come and check out the channel. If you are a real, true Jamaican cooking journey, you will come check. Do you see what is happening? Okay, leave me a comment, principal and decent, so I can reply to you that way. Some hot chocolate tea or a cold red striped beer. You do yourself the justice of what you want all our information i'm sorry will be in the description paypal cash app email you name it debbie from Dunga Yard. bless no stress